Do you just wish you had more energy? Like just think about all the things that you could do, everything you could accomplish every single day. If only you weren't so tired, so lethargic, constantly drained. The thing is, you might not be aware of this, but chances are your habits are actually draining you. And that is why you're always lethargic, why you can't get stuff done, why you can't focus. And I get you, a few months ago I was always tired, but because I started to implement new positive habits into my life and removing all the bad ones, my energy levels skyrocketed. And nowadays, I'm able to get so much stuff done, most people wouldn't even believe it. I can do in two hours what it takes most of my competition two weeks to do. I'm not joking. And when you apply these positive habits, you too become unstoppable. Every aspect of your life will become better. Your health, your productivity, your career, and even your relationships. Because now you won't always be so tired, absent-minded. When you're spending time with your loved ones, speaking to someone, you will be fully present in the moment because you've done everything that you needed to do for the day. So now you don't have to stress over, oh, I still need to do some work. So that's exactly why my goal with this video is to give you nine key positive habits that will make you limitless. Habit number one is cold exposure. A lot of athletes, they love cold exposure, especially ice baths for muscle recovery. Now, I personally only do ice baths in the summer because you know when you go outside like it's way warmer so you don't risk getting sick but even then I still wear a beanie, I do it after the gym and since it's like early morning it's still pretty cold outside usually. So because the sun hasn't been shining all day on the pool the water is still extremely fresh. And then as per usual I take my hot and cold shower but I mean when it's time to flick it all the way to cold it doesn't even feel that cold because I mean I just got out of a freezing cold pool. Now, if you don't have a pool or anything like that you can simply get a nice bathtub like a portable one and it's even better if you plunge into it first things first when you wake up or after a workout. Honestly, after that, you'll be so awake, you will think and see things so clearly, your productivity will shock you. Now, if you can't do any of that, you can still take very cold showers, like flick it all the way to cold and stay in the shower for like three minutes. At first, you won't be used to it. It's gonna be hard. You will be breathing fast, but day after day, your body will adapt. And cold exposure has many benefits, all the way from boosted immune system to suppose the fat burning benefits. But honestly, the main advantage is the focus it gives you. It gives you such a sharp, a clear mind because it wakes you the hell up. I mean, I remember when I was a kid at some point, my father was just telling me, if you don't get up to go to school, I'm going to take a bucket of ice cold water and I'm going to just throw it on your face. Now I get what that meant. Moving on to habit number two, to become limitless, having a consistent sleep schedule. A lot of people, they make the mistake of getting up early to go to their job because I mean, they have to, but then on the weekend, they sleep in. So they create a new sleep schedule and then on Sunday evening, they try to go to bed at the regular bedtime to wake up on time Monday without being exhausted, yet they simply can't because on Friday evening, Saturday Saturday evening, they went to bed later and so woke up later the next day. So the body is starting to adapt to a new sleep schedule. But obviously, because you don't give it enough time, because it's only two days, like it's a weekend, then it's shocking your body all over again. And that is why you always feel tired. Just think about this. If you're constantly going to sleep at different times, you're waking up at different times, it's exactly as if you were always traveling in different time zones. So every single time you wake up, it's like you have jet lag because your body doesn't know what's happening. It doesn't know that you stayed up late just because you wanted to watch another episode of Netflix or play some video games to relax. Your body thinks, oh, we are in a new time zone, we need to adapt. And if you've traveled pretty far in the past, you know how terrible it is to have to adapt to a completely different time zone, especially if there's like a big difference, like a 12 hour difference. The body likes routine. If you eat your meals at the same time every single day, the body will know in advance when to release the right hormones. So that way everything is streamlined, optimized, and your body will function at its maximum capacity, which will of course allow you to do more, to accomplish more on a daily basis. And whenever you want to reach a goal, whether it's building a profitable business, going to the gym, building the body of your Dreams. It's gonna take routine. You can't expect to switch up what you're doing every single time and somehow end up with a great outcome. Your success or lack thereof is found in what you do repeatedly over long periods of time, over months and over years. That is exactly why a lot of people just never become successful. They reach out to one potential customer, they don't get a reply, so they quit. They post one piece of content on social media and because they don't get any views, any traction, they simply give up. I can't even tell you how many dreams died, not because people don't have the talents, the skills or the intelligence to make their dreams come true, but simply because they just quit it because they stopped believing in their ability to get exactly what they wanted. That to me is the saddest thing ever. Now moving on to habit number three, which is connecting with your vision. A lot of the time, you might be thinking you've got no energy, like physically you feel drained. However, if you were to go to the gym or you went for a run outside, you'd be shocked to discover like you've crushed some PRs. Because the truth is, in that specific scenario, your body has energy. It's your mind who's depleted of it. It's like sometimes you feel hungry physically. You feel it in your stomach. But then there is also such a thing as psychological hunger. You crave something sweet 
right? But physically, you're not even hungry. You might even be full. Weight energy levels, it's the same thing. The truth is, if you want to be able to work harder, to become disciplined, you need to know exactly why you're doing things. And more than that, every single day, when you get out of bed, especially if you get up early to go to the gym or to work on your business, you need to know why you're doing things. So every single day, take some time, first things first in the morning, to reconnect with your vision. What do you truly want out of life? Because if you don't know, you won't have the right energy, the right motivation to do the hard things that you need to do to reach your goals day after day. And remember what we spoke about, success or lack thereof is found in the things that you do repeatedly over months and over years. That is the only way to reach a goal. Moving on to habit number four, which is cutting out the toxic people, the toxic friends from your life. Some people, when you spend time with them, it recharges your battery. Like these people, they're so inspirational. They're very charming. They have this aura, which is impressive. They're always cheerful, always smiling. And it's not like they don't have to face difficult things in their lives, but it's simply that they choose to adopt a different perspective than most people. So whereas most people only see the negative side of things, these people choose to focus on the bright side of life. So even in the worst of situations, they find the good. They take it as a lesson. They find a way to use it to their advantage. Honestly, if you can learn that skill yourself, turning even the worst of situations to your own advantage, you will become unstoppable. You'll reach every goal that you have. It only becomes a matter of time at this point. But at the same time, you need to be careful because while some people will recharge your batteries, the opposite is also true. Some people, they simply drain your energy. It's these same type of people who constantly ask you for favors, but they wouldn't do anything for you in return. Like whenever you need them, for some reason, they're nowhere to be found. It's these same people who don't even support you. They criticize you whenever you say that you have this big goal. So why would you want people like that in your inner circle? You've got to understand that we are the average of the five people we spend the most time with. So knowing that, why would you surround yourself with people who only drag you down, who don't even want the best for you? The sad truth is that a lot of people, they're not really your friends. As you work harder and harder to make your dreams come true, as you start to see success, as you start to get rewarded for all of your hard work, guess what is going to happen? This might surprise you, but on your way to the top, on your way to becoming successful, you will probably lose friends along the way. And sometimes you might even lose someone that you were really close with. And it's like you would have never expected to lose that person. That is exactly what happened to me. At some point, because I worked so hard, I leveled up so much, but my friend didn't. So instead of being inspired, he only got jealous. When your hard work is finally paying off, people can have two very different reactions. They can be inspired by it and work harder themselves. You can be their source of motivation. That's great. That's what we love to see. But for some people, it's going to be the opposite. They will take it as like a blow to their ego. Like you harmed them. Like you did something wrong. They won't be happy for you. They will only be jealous, envious. They'll try to tear you apart, to bring you down. Because let's face it, it's infinitely easier to do that as opposed to rolling up their sleeves and just doing the work themselves. But guess what? These people, they're not your friends. So you need to cut them loose. You will only benefit from doing so, believe me. Moving on to habit number five, to become limitless, is optimizing your diet. I mean, sometimes it makes me laugh. People want to be more productive, have more energy, but they drink so much caffeine, they can't even sleep. And it's like, yeah, no wonder why you sleep like shit. Like my father has always been struggling with his sleep for many reasons. But I mean, every time he's making himself a cup of coffee in the evening, I'm telling him, well, you're not going to sleep well. You know it. Because you've got to realize that when you ingest caffeine, it has a half-life. Let's say you ingest 100 milligrams of caffeine first thing in the morning, let's say at 8 a.m. Eight hours later, half of the caffeine is still in your system. Your body could not eliminate all of it. So if you drink too much of it, and especially closer to your bedtime, you will still have caffeine in your system as you're trying to fall asleep. So of course, it will negatively impact the quality of your sleep. Now, when it comes to actual food, a lot of people, they think, oh, it's fine if I eat some burgers, some fries for lunch with a beer. Of course not. How do you expect to be productive? to be able to focus after you eat all of that. It's full of chemicals, full of sugar, full of carbs, of fats, but not the good kind of fats. You'll be lethargic all afternoon. You'll be in a food coma. It's like all over the world, it's normal to eat sugary breakfast cereals, to eat chocolate spread on bread. I mean, what the hell? That stuff, it's not even food. Why the hell are we putting this shit in our bodies? And especially first things first in the morning. You're only gonna spike up your insulin levels and then they will come crashing back down. And that's why at 10 a.m. you feel hungry. You crave something sweet. And some people, they're gonna go eat donuts. I mean, no wonder why we have an obesity epidemic, people no longer eat food. Moving on to habit number six, which is social interactions. Like we've seen it, the wrong people will kill your energy. You leave the room feeling so much more drained than when you entered it. But the opposite is also true. Some people, like we've seen it, they can inspire you. Like conversations alone can change your life. I can tell you for a fact that if at certain key points in my life, I hadn't met certain people, my life would be extremely different right now. Sometimes it's one small meeting, one small conversation that changes the rest of your destiny. And I personally believe sometimes like you're destined to meet certain people. Like everything just falls into place so effortlessly. It feels as if it was orchestrated by some kind of greater power. You can call it the universe. Some people call it God. It all comes down to personal preferences and people's beliefs. Now it's true that typically extroverts, they recharge their batteries by hanging out with other people, by being social. While for introverts, it's the 
typically the opposite. The more time they spend with people, the more it drains them. They need their time alone to recharge their batteries. Now, maybe you don't really resonate with the concept of being an extrovert or even an introvert. It might be because you're an ambivert, so a mix of the two. And oftentimes, honestly, we're not 100% introverted or 100% extroverted. Even if you're like a pure extrovert, you'll be 99% extroverted maybe and 1% introverted because even extroverts need their time alone and even introverts need social interactions. But the simple act of spending more time with like-minded people, having nice conversations, having fun with your friends, it can help you to have a tremendous amount of energy. And on that note, if you'd like to join a private community of high achievers, learn how to make more money, build a body of your dreams, improve your social skills and change your life completely, I invite you to click in the first link in the description below. Moving on to habit number seven, sexual transmutation. The sad thing is that nowadays, 12 year old boys, even girls can see more naked bodies in a day than ancient kings saw in a lifetime. So that really goes to show you like something is profoundly flawed. You've got to realize that sexual energy is the most powerful energy that is stored inside of your body. Except that when you open up the incognito navigation on your phone, you go do your dirty thing. Well, guess what? You're wasting away all of that precious energy. And that energy is literally at the center of life. Without it, nothing would exist. Like at the end of the day, no matter how civilized we are, we are still animals. Most of the things that we do, they come from the desire to reach more status. And why? It all comes down to procreation, to the need for love, to the need to pass on your genes. It's not a conscious desire, obviously, but we can't forget that no matter how civilized we are nowadays, we are still animals at heart. What successful people do instead is harness that powerful energy and channel it into doing the work to reach their goals. Like oftentimes, before a big fight, fighters will abstain from all sexual activities. And when you've done the thing, how do you feel? Do you feel like conquering the world? Do you feel like you've got more energy? Do you feel ready to crush an intense workout session? To do a CrossFit workout? To work in a focused state for two hours? Of course not. All you feel like doing is plopping down on the couch, watching Netflix, and having a pizza. But that is not gonna help you to reach your goals. So while you waste away that precious energy, another guy will retain it. And guess what he will do? He'll do the work that you were too tired to do. And he'll get ahead of you, but you'll only have yourself to blame for it. Moving on to the next habit, which is hydration. A lot of people, they don't drink enough water. It might sound a bit gross to say it like that, but the simplest way to know if you're drinking enough is to literally look at the color of your pee. Ideally, it should be transparent. If it's orange, you're clearly not drinking enough. So every day, just have a bottle of water on your desk, next to you, maybe in different rooms, so you never forget to drink. Like when you wake up, the first thing that you should do, except if you weigh yourself, is to drink a tall glass of water. Not only is it going to help your body to wake up, but it will also give it the proper hydration you didn't receive all night. And what you'll notice is that if you're not drinking enough, you won't be able to work as deeply to focus as much. That is because first, to be able to work deeply, you need to cover all of your basic needs. If you're too hungry, too cold, too warm, dehydrated, you won't be able to do great work. Now finally, habit number nine is abstaining from all drugs. Not only do drugs have an effect on your body, so physically, but also psychologically. To give you an example, when you drink a lot of alcohol, you go to a party, you drink so much, the next day you wake up, you're completely hangover. Not only does your body need to do all of the work to eliminate that toxin, but from a psychological point of view, when you engage in those negative habits, those destructive behaviors, it's like you're just twisting a knife in the wound. Oftentimes, the reason why people fall for drugs, it's because they have an underlying issue in their life. It can be multiple issues, which are not resolved. So until you solve the root cause, you take a look at your life and you analyze it in depth. You understand really what's bothering you and what steps you need to take to change your situation. You'll just be stuck endlessly trying to get rid of these behaviors, but then always relapsing. So if you apply these nine habits, you too will become absolutely limitless. I'm convinced of it. Now with that said, what are you waiting for? It's time to get to work.